Hey guys, welcome back to some more F1 2017 and part 19 of season 1 of our Renault career mode and today we have the Singapore Grand Prix and yeah, um, in the last uh, couple of episodes, well, the, part 17, we had the chance of a podium, go and check it out if you haven't seen it, it was a really good race and one I thoroughly enjoyed, obviously last episode we had a bit of classic car stuff, really enjoyed that as well. Um, but let's get into it and see um, what happens, see if we get any notices or anything of the sort. Um, hopefully you guys are good, still enjoying the series, uh, I certainly am. And hopefully it's been a little bit more unique, sort of my style of, of, of doing F1. I know my good friend TIJ was saying that some F1 content has been sort of rinse and repeat. Um, and there you have it. No... Um, sort of uh, notices for us, but uh, never mind. Uh, we're not going to use that power unit. Uh, I'll probably use one that's not been used too too much. Uh, it's sort of been used 44%. That looks good. Uh, that's been used 0% actually. How odd. That's the energy store, so I think we'll go for that one. And hopefully that'll be fine. Um, the turbocharger, we haven't really got a good one of them. So I guess we, we stick with uh, this. Um, and then that's on 0%, which is good. So we'll move down to the 57% one. We also need to change our gearbox. That's something I need to remember to do. And we'll do that and that, I think. That should be fine. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. We'll, we'll see how the performance is. We may well opt to uh, change uh, some of the stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, six is done now. So we can swap to a new gearbox. So we'll go for a nice, fresh gearbox. Uh, in that and yeah that'll be good that'll be really good a nice fresh gearbox to help us this weekend but we will probably take some new components maybe a new ICE um, I don't think we'll need to take a new MGUH um, you know I think how many races have we got to go that is the question we've got seven races to go so yeah, we should be fine should be absolutely fine um, for some of the parts, but we might take new components depending on the performance. Obviously, you know, it's Singapore. Um, engine performance isn't necessarily uh, going to translate to on track performance, so we may well leave it till next weekend. But uh, overall, things are going well. We're, we're currently in seventh in the driver's standings. Uh, 20 points behind 6th place, don't think we're going to quite get that, we're 4th in the Constructors, looking very very good for that. And with that being said, I'll now hand over to the qualifying report with whoever it may be. Qualifying in Singapore became effectively irrelevant because of a flurry of penalties that affected the back 8 rows of the grid. Carlos Sainz went out in Q1 as the biggest shock along with the Sabres and McLarens and Joe Hannard went out in Q2 despite it being a wet session and he's really impressed so far this year but despite qualifying in P11 he will start in P6 after all the penalties. In Q3 it was dry once again and it was a battle between the Mercedes and Ferrari. Mercedes have been traditionally slow around Singapore the last few years and again it showed that they were a step behind the Ferraris as Hamilton could only qualify third and it was Sebastian Vettel hoping to keep his title hopes alive this weekend who took pole position for the Singapore Grand Prix. Alongside me in the commentary box this evening and big race this one, a real test of endurance sounds right up your alley. Wouldn't you just love to be down there on the grid right now? You know what Crofty? I'm pretty happy to be up here in my air conditioning, thank you, right now. I can't stress just how difficult these conditions can be, especially when you consider it's the longest race on the calendar in terms of time. It's also one of those races where you have to remember to keep drinking, or there's a real risk of dehydration. 
just like we saw with young Kevin Magnuson a couple of years ago, don't forget. We mentioned the bumps as well. Take a look at the onboards if you get a chance during this race. The movement in the suspension and the chassis is just incredible, and it's lots of hard work to wrestle the car around a lap here. So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying session with a look at the starting grid. Sebastian Vettel will start on pole. Fantastic qualifying from the multiple world champion. And Kimi Raikkonen completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Verstappen, Roman Grosjean and a Renault, Ocon, Kvyat, Alonso and Marcus Ericsson, Verline, Van Dorn, Lance Stroll and Bottas, Sainz, Ricardo, Felipe Massa and Kevin Magnussen, Hulkenberg and Sergio Perez rounds off the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. So here we are again guys, down on the track, uh, P6, I'm pretty happy with that, we qualified uh, P11, um, you know, it wasn't wasn't the best qualifying from me, and it was wet weather, and yeah, just kind of mucked it up in the end, but it was fine, you know, 11th would have been, would have been great, um, but we're starting 6th, which is even better, so... Yeah, I, I didn't bother taking any new uh, power unit parts or anything because I thought, you know, it's going to be tough to overtake around here. So, um, yeah, so, so I thought, you know, give ourselves the best opportunity and maybe take some parts at Malaysia or something like that, a, a track I, I don't really like, one where overtaking is possible. Um, yeah, I thought that was a a better option and it's turned out to be a good decision because we're starting P6 unfortunately Hulkenberg down in P19 I'm assuming he uh, qualified in 9th and had a 10 place grid penalty but maybe not maybe he qualified 7th and had a 12 place grid penalty you really don't know um, if you don't qualify in the in the top 10 but hopefully you guys are good still enjoying the series I know I certainly am and uh, I certainly Looking forward to this race. It was a crack in real life. The Singapore Grand Prix will this live up to the standards. Obviously, it's the Malaysian Grand Prix this weekend. Practice today. I don't know quite what happened because I'm recording this before Friday. So, um, yeah, obviously, it's a Lewis Hamilton stronghold in terms of qualifying. I think he's had four in a row, maybe. Uh, certainly three in a row. Uh, I don't think he would have got pole position in 20... 13, but uh, no, um, I think Hamilton will run away with it. He was running away with it last year until the engine failure, so yeah, I think Hamilton's going to run away with the championship now, and, and that's going to be that. Uh, and it'll all be because of that first lap incident in Singapore. Um, I don't see Ferrari really being the strongest at any of the, the upcoming tracks. You know, the likes of Japan, I think Mercedes will have. Um, Austin, they will. Uh, Mexico, I, I don't really know. Brazil, I don't really know. Abu Dhabi, maybe. Ferrari, but I don't know. But, uh, well, I up for the, the race start and getting ready. Four lights out. Uh, we've got Fernando Alonso <laughs> just behind us in P9, which is unbelievable. It would be great to see him here more often but uh, hopefully he can act as a bit of a rear gunner and help out his former team but yeah we're getting ready for the lights here in Singapore the night race lights out away we go here in Singapore it's a good start for us but uh, we are overtaking slightly on the start but we are gonna sort of guide it around the first turn we just sort of stay down the inside and we're going to get Grosjean into turn three, I guess. And, well, he's side by side. He's going to have a look down the inside into turn four. And we're just going to ease it around the outside, which is good. Um, we've went ahead and got the next update for the power unit. Uh, had over a thousand resource points, so I thought power unit is where we're probably lacking in the most uh, apparently chassis is is a problem as well but uh, we upgraded that last time so I thought we'd go 
powertrain and just really try and push that towards the end of the season and yeah see how it see how it goes but uh, we're up to p5 here and got Verstappen just in front of us in P4, Hamilton ahead of Reichen and Vettel sort of just went off on one, so um, yeah, it looks like Vettel's got the lead, Hamilton's managed to jump Reichen in, so it can stay in front of that Ferrari for a little bit, and we're sort of trapped behind Verstappen at the moment, but uh, Hamilton kind of holding us three up, I feel like we've got more pace, even Grosjean behind me may have a little bit more pace but you would expect in the in the coming laps for this little group in front of me to sort of pull away and uh, yeah, it's going to be a battle for fifth for me I think uh, and if that, you know, I mean Bottas is going to be fighting through the field Ricardo is going to be fighting through the field and there we go, that's the end of lap one we're going to go down to standard now and try and look after this engine because, yeah, as I've said, we don't really want to take any more parts, but we're going to have to. So we don't want to have to take more than one part for the rest of this season. And yeah, so conservation is the word, but uh, we are still going to push as hard as we can to try and get past Verstappen for fourth place. So we've got the DRS on Max Verstappen, he's on the super soft tyres of course. So he will be a little bit slower in this phase of the race and we are closing in on him so we are going to stay in rich mix for this little section here and try and get into fourth place because I feel like if we had a bit of clean air we could pull away from Max Verstappen here. And because tyre wear hasn't really been an issue uh, around Singapore this time around I don't think he's gonna to have too much of an advantage by being on the super soft tire strategy wise so maybe a bit of a, a boo-boo there from Max Verstappen I know last year that was certainly a better decision but uh, maybe not this year we're massively over fueled again by the way I need really need to start checking that before the uh, the Grand Prix starts because it is getting ridiculous <laughs> it really is but we are glued to the back of Max Verstappen we, we are struggling with the dirty air just a little bit through some of the corners but um, no it should be it should be a, a chance on this next pit straight um, we'll have DRS there and then if we can close in and stay close through the first sector we may well have a chance as we go up towards turn 7 so here we come through the first couple of turns we are glued to his gearbox and looks like we've got a good exit out of three four is the the place where we need to get the best sort of exit and I think we're, we've got a pretty good one we've got DRS active we're closing in on Max Verstappen but it's not quite a long enough straight for us to really show an advantage so <laughs> the battle goes on another lap well for Stapman in on the super soft tyres uh, as Rich Mix becomes unavailable for us obviously our MG UK must be come towards the end of its lifespan but uh, very interesting decision from Max Verstappen he obviously didn't have the pace that he wanted on those super soft tyres and he's come in and change them up. Kimi Raikkonen also on the super soft tyres. I don't think he's been into the pits because surely we would have overtaken him if he had been but this is our chance now to put in a couple of qualifying times maybe just the one um, and get a bit of a gap and maybe overcut Max Verstappen. So here we come into the pits then. I think we've put in a, a pretty decent lap. We've got to remember that. We've got to get down to 37 mile an hour and we're into the pit lane hopefully we can have a quick stop and uh, yeah this is this is exciting uh, obviously podium in the last race can we get a fourth place here yeah, that would be a terrific result and we're away that was a 2.7 second pit stop Magnussen has got ahead of us um, 
There's a safety car. There's a safety car. Safety car deployed, and we are just behind Max Verstappen. But uh, that is very, very interesting. I don't know who's out of the race. Who is out of the race? Shall we have a look at the race director? Who is it? It's Lance Stroll who's out of the race. So that's very interesting. We've just come out of the pit. So that's maybe helped us out a little bit. Maybe it hasn't. Um, you know, I think we want to be enriched, to be quite honest with you. Try and burn off as much fuel as possible so that we can... Um, be as quick as we can be but uh, that helps the likes of Verstappen who came in that lap earlier um, and it means that he'll be able to extend the life of his ultra softs um, you've got Van Dorn right behind us which is interesting but uh, yeah safety car so it is a hundred percent success rate and I'll see you guys once we're ready for the off again so the safety car is in this lap as Jeff's just said we're up in eighth position I don't know if everybody's come into the pits yet but um yeah, well, we've, we've been keeping a, a good temperature and the tyres were on rich mix. Uh, I don't know who's quite leading the race at the moment. I know Nico Hulkenberg might just be uh, up ahead, is he? Uh, I don't think he... Fernando Alonso is up in fourth at the moment. He started ninth, of course. Oh, there was a bit of an incident there with Vettel, I think. Uh, maybe hitting the wall on the way through. I don't know what he's doing. Um, but hopefully the green flag will drop any time now, and it does, and we make up three positions. Oh, no, we don't. No, we don't. We have to wait for the safety car line. And, well, we're, we filter back through, um, and we're going to go down the inside of Max Verstappen up to sixth place now. That's a little bit annoying, but... Uh, We'll pass Verstappen, the guy that we've been behind the whole race, and now we've got Magnussen up ahead. And remember, we were battling for fourth place in this Grand Prix, but Fernando Alonso, I think, is still up ahead. So, are we in for a chance of another podium here? That is the question we've got to ask. We go down the inside of Magnussen. That was kind of unexpected, a bit more aggressive than you would have expected. Um, but yeah we're through we're up to 5th now and we're just behind Fernando Alonso who's in 4th position uh, he had a bit of a side by side action up ahead with Hamilton not so long ago how we would love to see that in real life but uh, now Fernando Alonso surely doesn't have the pace to stay in front of us I think he may have started on those super soft tyres and he doesn't have the pace anyway so uh, hopefully we can get past him and uh, hopefully he can hold up for Stafford as well. He's probably our biggest threat for fourth place. I don't think we're quite going to have enough to finish on the podium. Fernando Alonso pits. Fernando Alonso is in the pits and we're now up to fourth place. Kimi Raikkonen is in third. Uh, oh, no, we're up to third. Kimi Raikkonen's coming at the pits. We have a chance of another podium here. This is unbelievable. Grosjean right behind us in fourth place. But, yeah, we have four laps to hang on to a podium place. Where's this come from? Kimi Raikkonen obviously making a big strategical error there. Um, and now we're sort of chasing after Lewis Hamilton. I'm assuming Sebastian Vettel is the one leading the race. Um, yeah, two podiums in a row is a possibility. We've got green flags. We've got somebody out of the race here. Um, could we have another safety car? We certainly wouldn't complain at a safety car. Who is out of the race? Somebody is out. Uh, I think there might have been a big incident at, at some point of the racetrack. Um, let's just have a look on the race director. We'll have a, a quick look. Um, terminal damage. Yeah, Sainz and Perez have had an incident. That's insane. So both of them are out of the race I'm really surprised there's not a safety car really really surprised I think maybe if it was a lap earlier there would have been 
or even a virtual safety car we'd have been quite happy with just to neutralize the gaps between everybody but um, no we're on the the harder tire we're looking good and yeah two consecutive podiums is certainly something that's on the horizon here so we're coming on to the last lap guys um, we pretty much posted off as a lap of the, ra the, the race there we have got Valtteri Bottas just behind us so I am still really pushing Grosjean has come into the pits and obviously Bottas is in the Mercedes he's going to be quicker than us um, but no we're, we're still in third position still looking very very good and if we don't make any mistakes we will be getting a second consecutive podium in this season which is unbelievable I don't know where this has come from um, we've posted our quicker sector one of the Grand Prix so far um, I don't know where Nico Hulkenberg is but uh, this 15 points alone will be very very good for us in the constructors so no I'm very very pleased with this so far uh, looking at getting a second consecutive podium I really can't believe that I honestly can't believe that and uh, yeah we're coming around this final sector now we have just went a little bit wide which means Bottas does close up a little bit but I can't really see where he would pass us maybe down in towards the Anderson Bridge uh, that could be a possibility we are starting to see the proximity arrow just behind that just shows how close he is and we have locked up and gone a little bit wide and now this is the chance I was talking about down towards the Anderson Bridge and we're through that section we should be fine I don't think Bottas is going to manage to to get past us Sebastian Vettel has won the Singapore Grand Prix Hamilton finishes second Bottas is coming round are we going to finish third we come round the final corner I don't think Bottas has got enough we do finish third if Bottas had another lap that would have been it but we have finished on the podium once again come on Davidson, give me your thoughts. How did they accomplish this result? Well, they played the safety car to absolute perfection. There are so many factors to worry about once the race is neutralized. I mean, do you hit the fresh rubber? Do you have the space behind you? How much fuel can you save? If you answer all of those questions correctly, you'll have a good chance. And that's exactly what happened today. Well, I'm thoroughly exhausted after the excitement of that race, but I'm sure it's nothing compared to our drivers here. They've worked hard to make it up there, and it's great to see them make their way out onto the podium. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. It's a good result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. Now then, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? Oh, well, I'm a bit spoiled for choice, Crofty. My instinct says Valtteri Bottas, and looking down the field, no one really jumps out at me to make me change my mind. And now let's take a look at the constructors' standings. It was a tough race for our championship leaders who lose ground at the top of the table. After all that excitement, it's time for a lie down, I think. Thanks for joining us and goodbye until the next race. So there we have it then, the end of the 2017 Singapore Grand Prix. Sebastian Vettel winning with Hamilton in second and us in third. Bottas finished fourth with Grosjean fifth, Kvyat in sixth, Raikkonen in seventh, uh, Ericsson in eighth, Verstappen in ninth. Two stops for him, very disappointing, and Ocon in tenth. Hulkenberg had two stops as well, so maybe he could have been up sort of, hmm, where would he have been? How long does it, maybe 30 seconds, so he could have been up in sixth place, Hulkenberg, but uh, it wasn't meant to be. And looking at the driver's standings, we remain in seventh place, 16 points ahead of Sergio Perez, only seven behind Max Verstappen now. Maybe we do have a chance of sixth place after all. In the constructors, we are uh, now a good... Uh, 36 points, um, no, 26 points ahead of Force India in the standings, which is really, really good to see. And another brilliant Grand Prix. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. It really does mean a lot for me. 
and for the channel, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.